The year was 1900, and the town, Auburn, Indiana. This was the birthplace of what would be one of America's great automobile manufacturers. From 1900 to around 1937, this spectacular Art Deco-style building was the headquarters of the Auburn Automobile Company. Inside the same facility where some of the most luxurious and innovative motor cars of their time were created, the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Museum now houses a marvelous collection of well over 100 classic cars. The Auburn Automobile Company was founded in 1900 by Frank and Morris Eckhart and first began producing Auburn cars in 1903. But it was in 1924 when Eric Lobin Cord came on board that the company began to soar. Originally brought in as sales manager, E.L. Cord was installed as president in 1925 after his sensational design innovations and sales strategies propelled the company to new heights. Cord's first order of business was to restyle the Auburn cars. He spared no expense in bringing in sensational young designers who would resurrect the formerly stodgy motor cars. Adding the now famous boat tail design, he also added power with Lycoming built straight eight engines. Suddenly, the Auburn cars were among the sportiest, most prestigious cars in America. Flush with success, Cord purchased the Duesenberg Company in 1926, and by 1929, Cord's company was the triumph of the industry. Cord then formed the Cord Corporation and introduced the Cord Automobile, one of the most innovative cars of its time. He expanded his empire to include airlines, engine manufacturing, and eventually media interests. Despite the onset of the Depression, the Auburn Cord and Duesenberg automobiles continued to sell but the economic climate eventually took its toll. In 1937, E.L. Cord sold the company. In August of that year, production ceased, and in 1938, the Auburn Automobile Company declared bankruptcy. Flash forward to 1974. The city of Auburn, Indiana steps in to salvage the dilapidated home of the once great car maker, and the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Museum is opened. The museum, committed to displaying some of the finest autos ever built, with a particular emphasis on the classic Auburns, Cords, and Duesenbergs, is a spectacular showcase of the past. The 80,000 square foot museum is visited by over 60,000 people a year. The collection of cars inside the museum is featured in eight exhibit galleries on two floors, including the auto design and clay model studios and the magnificently restored factory showroom. The administrative offices have been restored to near original condition and offer a glimpse into history. Among the standout automobiles on display is the Auburn Supercharged Speedster. The Auburn Speedster broke over 70 records for a stock car with a speed of over 104 miles per hour set at the famous Bonneville Salt Flats. The Duesenberg Model J. Advertised as the world's finest motor car, the Model J was a favorite of movie stars, monarchs, and millionaires. It was the most powerful car of its day, and at around $18,000, the most expensive. This was at a time when a Model A Ford could be purchased for $550. Today, the Model J commands prices over $1 million. The Cord L29 is another centerpiece of the museum. America's first front-wheel drive car, it was the first of the automobiles designed and built by the company named after E.L. Cord himself. In 1935, the Cord 810, designed by Gordon Burig, was introduced. Another design masterpiece, the 810 featured ingenious pop-up headlights. It is remarkable that this collection of automotive gems can be viewed in such a fabulously restored building. Open to the public year-round except Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Museum recalls an era of glamour, prestige, and style that otherwise would be lost to history.